All right, so finishing up the game so that it ends when we have shapes that spawn on top of one another. Right now I'm in the create shape from the last time. At this point, as soon as I create one of these things, I need to check to see if any of them is over the top of a solid block. So at the very bottom of this, after I've created a shape, I need to check to each of the blocks and say, hey, are you on a solid? This is actually pretty similar to the rotation code. So I'm going to create a variable collide down here. Uh, it equals false to begin with. I'm going to go through each block. Global dot block one. If I place this block at its own x and y, and it's like, hey, look, there's a solid object there. then collide is going to become true. So basically I'm going through saying, hey, are you on top of a solid? If you are, that means you hit something. I'm actually going to do this for each of the blocks, so I'm just going to copy and paste this and just change the width to block 1, 2, 3, and 4. So block 2, block 3, block 4. So that was just a copy and paste of exactly the same code for each one. All right, so if I get down here and collide is true, game over. So if that's the case, then I'm probably going to want to show the high score table, show them a message, and you can ask them about playing again, or you can do ending the game. So I'm going to show a quick message. Game over, man. Game over. All right. I'd like to show the high score table. High score show is what I want. It requires a number in the parentheses. In this case, I'm just going to use score, which is built in, and that'll pop that up. If I want to ask a question to see if they want to play again, you actually use show question. Uh, don't forget that if you're typing in text, you've got to put it in double quotes. That's called a string of characters. Do you want to play again? Hey, look, in proper English, too. So this will either be true or false. If they hit yes, it's true. So show question actually gets replaced with either true, if the answer was yes, or false if the answer was no. So if they said yes, I'm going to restart the game. If they didn't, then it'll jump down to this else block, and I'm going to end the game. So basically, if there is something there, show the high message, high score show. See if they want to play again, restart the game, end the game. Um, I haven't put in my scoring stuff yet, so I'll have to get to that in a minute. But I want to check this and make sure that this actually ends up working. Right now I have lots of lines, so this will be really quick. Game over, man. Game over. All right. There's my high score table. Do I want to play again? No. All right. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to save this out as Tetris Demo 4. All right, so that has to do with ending the game. So that's the bare minimum. Everything's working. I would like to add in some score, though. So every time I complete a line, I do something. So that happens in complete line, if you don't remember. So I left a comment to say, hey, update your score, and I didn't do it. 
So I should do something here. Score plus equals 1, or whatever you decide to do. So that's a bare minimum how you would update your score. I'll get to a more complicated version here in a minute. Um, I would also like to make it so that I can actually see my score. And I'd like to actually draw it on the screen. So in my game, I've left this space off to the side here. I'd like to actually draw my score right there. Uh, at the moment, I have this controller who's not drawing anything. So I'm going to give him a draw event. So in the controller, I'm going to add event, draw code, because we loves it. We loves the code. OK. So there's a number of different draw commands. If I start doing draw, there's drawing arrows, backgrounds, buttons, circles, ellipses, health bar, high score, lines, points, primitives, all sorts of stuff. You can draw sprites, draw text. Hey, that sounds useful. Um, so there's lots and lots of draw commands. All these draw commands only work in a draw event. So that's why I had to do that. So draw text. That sounds like something useful. Ooh, I can even do colored text. So to begin with, I'm going to just do drawing text. So let me figure out where I want to draw that real quick. Let's see. In my room, I'm going to draw it at, I don't know, right there, 464.96. It's up to you where you want to draw yours. 464.96. And now I need to draw what I'm going to do. Now I could do like just score, but that's all I would see. I would also like to draw the actual variable that contains my score. And that's not going to be a constant number. That's going to change over time. So it turns out what you can do is you can actually take your score value. So if I do this, it's going to throw an error because score is a number. It's not text. But you can convert it. So what you say is string and put your number inside of the parentheses of that. So that's how you convert a real number to a series of letters. So that my score of 5 turns into the letter 5. Because computers think those are utterly different things. By the way, side note, if you ever want to change from a string to a real number, you could do something like this and say real. And that changes it a series of letters to a number if for some reason you had to convert back and forth. Hey, look, it's my score. I should probably actually get a point so I can see if that works. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Yay, a point. Okay. <laughs> 